Hi there guys, Barry from Copper vs Glass here and today I'm just going to be doing a quick look at one of the best features that I've uh, received to one of my products in a while and that is to do with the Chromecast. Uh, it was announced as part of Google I.O. in 2014 that the mirroring function for the Chromecast was coming to certain devices and we've got those devices now. There are only a select few and I'll put the list in the description below uh, but they include Nexus phones and some HTC phones um, and some require an app to do it and some like the Nexus phones can do it natively. I'll be showing you how to do it in both ways so let's take a look at how we can mirror our Android phone to our Chromecast on the Nexus 5. So the first way you're going to be doing it, if you don't have a Nexus phone, uh, you're going to be using the Chromecast application to do this. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the Chromecast app. Once you've got that, you're just going to open it up. And then we're going to look for devices. Now if you've already set your Chromecast up, your device will actually show up uh, in the list of devices here. If not, then you can walk through the Chromecast setup uh, and again I'll put the link in the description on how you do that as well. Once you've found your device, you can pull out the side panel on here and you'll see you have a cast screen option. Once we click on cast screen, it's going to say use the uh, cast screen to display everything that you see on your phone or tablet onto your TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit cast screen and we're going to select our Chromecast and it's going to say casting. Now at this point everything from your phone is going to start to be beamed onto the TV which you can actually see behind me. Now, because this uh, is going to be directly streaming from your phone to the Chromecast and not over the internet, it's going to rely really heavily on your home networking connection. So I myself have a router, it's an Asus RT66U, uh, and it's a great router, I've reviewed it, reviewed it, and I'll put the link in the description for you to have a look at, um, and I found that it doesn't give a huge amount of lag between my phone and my Chromecast. So if I exit the app here, you can see that it exits on the TV. Now the really great test to actually see what sort of delay you're getting is to actually open up the clock or any application you have similar and to do something like a stopwatch. This will give you a really good idea of the lag you're experiencing between your phone and what's being transmitted to the TV. If I press start on here you can see that it's approximately half or a second behind. Uh, now in terms of actually streaming rate um, it actually streams at a really good rate. For example, if you watch a video, um, the constant stream rate is actually great, uh, especially on my Wi-Fi network, and I don't have many issues playing video on my phone to my TV. Um, but if you're playing something like a game, it becomes virtually impossible because that half second or second delay um, stops you being able to do that. So the delay that I'm receiving is about half, half a second to a second. Um, but as you can see, for just navigating around, it's not really an issue. Uh, and I can certainly open something like YouTube and start playing a video and it will transmit sound and uh, video to the TV without any issues. Um, of course the reason why you might want to use this is for applications that don't support the Chromecast API built in. So for example certain video streaming apps or web streaming video, um, you can just cast your entire screen to it or make it full screen on your phone and pop it onto the TV. Of course the application does go in landscape. So a great example here is with the camera. So if I pick up the camera you can see that on my TV it's mirroring everything that you can see on the camera. If I turn it into landscape then it will indeed fill the entire screen on the TV. So this is a really great example as well of everything you'll see. You can see that the delay isn't actually too much. There's a few stutters but overall it's not that bad and so it can actually be quite fun to play about with this feature for photos and things like that. Of course if we close it, it goes back to the home screen and we're all set. So this is one of the greatest features that I've been waiting for on my Chromecast since it came out. I'm really glad to see that they've implemented it. The other way that I mentioned you could use the Chromecast mirroring function specifically on Nexus devices is they have the Chromecast app built in to the uh, quick settings application. So once we flip over in the notifications and go to quick settings, we have an icon that's called cast screen and I can actually use this to disconnect or reconnect to my TV so I don't actually need the Chromecast application on my phone because it's a Nexus I can go straight to the quick settings and access the cast screen function straight from here. So that's really great on the Nexus devices. 
But anyway guys, that's pretty much it. That's just showing you how to cast your screen from your phone to your TV using the Chromecast. Uh, and it does work on certain devices. Again, I'll put them in the description below, but especially for Nexus devices, it's really quick and easy. Anyway guys, this is Barry from Copper vs Glass, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.